guys, it's Cool Story Bro, and today's video, I've got another unboxing, and of course, it's an official Apple product. This is not a brand new Apple product. I've already done a video with the new trackpad. You've watched that, some of the features that you can use on this Magic Trackpad, exactly the same, but I've wanted to do this because it's an official Apple product, and it's kind of retro, if you know what I mean. So this is the Magic Trackpad, as you can see. So on the side, it's got a beautiful Apple logo, as we already know, and then on the back, like says, if you previously watched my videos and you've watched the, the new trackpad, exactly the same. Some of the features like force touch is not on it, of course, because this was the first one. If you haven't, then you can actually pause it. I'm gonna try and focus in for you guys so you can actually see what this one actually does, which is pretty cool. It says, let your fingers do the clicking, scrolling and swiping, just as you would on a MacBook. And in the box, I don't think you get any Apple stickers just the how to actually use it of course and looks like it hasn't actually been opened so let's open it in 2019. Oh. So that is the instructions and uh, this is the bluetooth certification for the model number which is cool and the warranty the refurbished model altogether cost me 50 with i think it was free delivery if you go into a local apple store and sometimes they have refurbished products for really a good price i got this not in my hometown in the apple store got this off ebay it came the next day delivery which was pretty cool the beautiful product on the front magic trap pad and of course it says wireless which is pretty cool especially for the day as well let's open it i just love these boxes as you know i always love these boxes so it's like a pizza delivery take a look at the magic trap pad really really nice on the back we've got a beautiful apple logo as you can see it's made out of aluminium which is really nice and you're probably thinking, where do I actually charge this device? There's no such thing as a USB on it. So how do I actually make it work with my iMac or Mac? And this is the mechanism that Apple actually used on the first generation Apple keyboard, which is this. Now, first of all, you will need a penny or a dime. I've got my dime right here. And then what you wanna do, you just wanna twist it like so. that part out and then you put your batteries in now you're probably thinking well how do I know if my batteries are going to actually be right if you turn it like this this is how you actually put your batteries in correctly and then what you want to do is scrape back on with your penny or dime make sure it's in tight so the batteries don't actually fall out and that's it, that's how you do it. And then when you power it on, you get a green indicator. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually connect your Magic Trackpad. Now, first of all, you would need a USB kind of mouse or a, like a Bluetooth mouse to actually make this Magic Trackpad work. As long as it works with the Apple computer, you're totally fine. And then once you've done that, you wanna to go to the Apple icon, like so, and then you wanna to go to System Preferences, and then you want to go to the trackpad. Even though it's got the new trackpad icon, you still want to click on it because it's a trackpad. And then on the Magic Trackpad itself, on the right hand side, there's a power button. You want to press it in, hold it in for a few seconds, and there should be like a green indicator. Now this green indicator will keep on flashing until it actually found it. As you can see, it says found homes trackpad. And you want to click on that, continue. And then it's going to connect it of course and then you've got all the features like it says this is a used one so you just want to just scroll down the the customized settings to make sure everything's okay like it says this is roughly a good trackpad that is actually had the the, the the settings on but normally when you do buy a used one like it says you can have this one where it's really, really slow, or you can have a fast one. And like I says, I love the fast one because it's good. It's, it's a lot more fluid and everything like that. And then you want to go to the other one, make sure they're on, of course. And of course, more gestures, everything is on, which is pretty cool. Now, the only thing it's actually lagging on, which is this is the first trackpad ever to be invented by Apple. There's no such thing as force touch and everything like that. If you're looking for the force touch, then you probably want to go with a new model. But if you're not really bothered about that, and you love the beautiful trackpad because like says i love the trackpad because i love creating movies on imovies and making youtube videos 
and it's just an awesome way to actually make videos because you've, it feels like you've got the whole of your movie in the track pad because it's just amazing all the gestures actually work which is pretty cool now you're probably thinking when you buy a used one as you can see it says home i don't really want it to be called that so what you do is you go to set up bluetooth trackpad like this as you can see there's my magic trackpad too but this one is the one i want and you actually tap on the right hand side like so and then it says disconnected rename or removed so what you want to do is press rename and then you can actually call it whatever you want so i'm actually going to be calling it of course cool Cool story, bro. And then I'm just gonna put the T because I deleted the T by accident. And then I click your name. So every time when I see my trackpad right now, as you can see, it says cool story, bro trackpad. So if you do have really kind of a lot of trackpads like me, I've got two, I've got the magic trackpad too. And sometimes you get mixed up, you can name them. So say if you want like a family member or a friend that they want to use that trackpad, and they can actually have it as a name, which is pretty cool. And it just shows you there. Trackpads are pretty cool. It's an awesome idea, especially if you're a creative person, if you are, you know, making videos or making photos, you know, it's really awesome, especially to pinch to zoom into a photo. It just feels really nice. No lag whatsoever. It just feels awesome. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually going to compare it, the size between the old one and the new ones. Here is the first Magic Trackpad. Here is the trackpad on a 2016 MacBook Pro with the touch bar. And then here is the, the third generation trackpad. But you do get a lot more space on this one. I'm not saying this one is really bad because it's awesome. If you tilt it to the side, you can actually see kind of like going up. And then this one's just got like a stand. So when you actually, you know, doing work on it or gestures, it's not gonna wobble. So you have to put kind of a bit more force to actually make it move, but when you like, you know, when you're doing like multi gestures and everything like that, it's not actually gonna move unless you put a lot of force to make it move. And like with this one, it's roughly the same. Let's hopefully you enjoy. Any questions about the product, please let me know in the comments. And I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for the subscribers and thank you for the support on this channel. Hopefully you stay tuned for my future content. Thanks for watching guys.